In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a screenshot in Windows 10. First of all, take a look at your keyboard and find the print screen key. Usually it's near the top and off to the right hand side somewhere. And then hold down the Windows key, which is between the Control and Alt, and then tap the print screen key. Now it doesn't appear like anything happened, but if you click on the File Explorer, then Pictures, open the Screenshots folder, and you'll see the screenshot that you created right there. Now there may be cases where the process I just showed you doesn't work, and that most commonly happens in laptops. And that's because sometimes the print screen function is not the main function of the key. In other words, the key on your keyboard has more than one function and the print screen is the secondary function. Usually this is indicated by the print screen being a different color on the key or maybe it has a little um, border around it. And what that means is you have to hold down the function key, which is down beside the control and alt key, in order to use the print screen function. So in that case, you would hold down the Windows key, hold down the function key or FN key and then tap the print screen key and it would make your screenshot. Now you can also make a screenshot without pressing the Windows key simply tapping the print screen button. In that case again nothing appears to happen but if you launch a program that is capable of handling an image such as the paint program that comes with Windows then you can click paste and you'll see that that screenshot can be pasted in. So in other words, what it did was copied it to the Windows clipboard, and then when you hit paste, it pasted it in. Now keep in mind, not every application can support pasting in an image. But generally, any image editing program will, such as Paint, and also most word processing programs that can handle an inline image like Microsoft Word or LibreOffice Writer. So hopefully you found this helpful. If so, press that like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.